Today we're going to be looking at the Le Chatelier demonstration using cobalt chloride, which is a very, very interesting reaction because we can see it. The, the stuff that you see in the far right on the hot plate is, of course, up close to 100 degrees centigrade. Over on the left, we have an ice, uh, ice cold water, and in the center we have room temperature water, and what we're going to do is, uh, James, would you please pick up that tube very carefully in out of the water bath, the hot water bath? Okay, is it hot? Uh, yeah. Is it burning? <laughs> no, it's not burning. Oh, okay, good. Okay, Justin, would you please pick up the one that's in the cold water bath? Now, I need to have you place the tubes in the opposites. You're going to trade places now. What water bath it was in is going to change. And now we're going to watch this stuff change, and you're actually seeing an equilibrium shift in action, real time. And it'll take a little bit of time, but it won't take too much time. If you look at the cold water bath, you will see the pink starting to form at the bottom of the tube. That's where it's coldest. Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> uh, pink starting to come there. Okay. Now, James, would you please lift that out of the cold water bath and put it in front of the white of cold? Yeah, there you go. Oh, you can see it now, can't you? Okay, we're going to just zoom in nice and close on that. And you can actually see that pink down there at the bottom. Okay, and let's go back over now. Justin, would you pick your tube up a little bit and let's see what's going on in there. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, that's going to take a little while. We maybe should have turned the hot plate up a little bit more to get the reaction to go faster or to get the equilibrium to shift a little bit faster okay, because that wasn't cold water. But as you can see over here in the middle, now in the middle you've got your room temperature water and that water of course is keeping the room temperature and that baby just stays pink just like the cold water was pink a little earlier. And there we go. Uh, that's going to focus up nice. And so we can see now that the, what was that, that nice dark purpley color is turning into a nice pink color. And the pink is at the bottom because that's where the cold water is. And over here, have we got any action yet? Okay, is that turning a little bit? You can see that guy starting to turn. It's nice that you can see the equilibrium happen, happening fast enough that it actually is uh, able to demonstrate to you how fast these equilibria can change. And so we're changing from the purpley stuff to the, the uh, pink stuff. The pink stuff is the cobalt chloride. And the cobalt chloride ion, when it is saturated with, when it has a lot of chloride in the solution, which will happen with a shift that Le Chatelier is going to be doing right now in this hot water bath, is going to bring that thing back to that nice purpley color. I call it a cobalt blue, but what am I? I I'm colorblind, so. <laughs> but I, I, I like that color, and here it's, it's actually starting to show up. So in the brief time that we've been running the video, which is a little bit past four minutes now, you can actually see the changes have occurred both from the purple to the pink, which happened over here in the cold water bath, and in the purple, or the uh, pink, going to a cobalt blue, is what I call it, a cobalt blue or a pur what's purple to most people's eyes. <laughs> so the room temperature now is staying the same. Okay, nothing is changing there. And let's go ahead and James, would you take that room temperature one and compare it to the cold water one? Pull it out of the test tube or out of the bath and let's put them side by side. And you can see now that those guys are pretty much, oops, where am I? Here we go. Those guys are pretty much at the same color now. There's no difference. Let's get those in front of a white background so we can see it more clearly. 
There you go. Yeah. Uh, is there a little bit of difference? Am I seeing a little bit of difference in the color still? It's it's pretty much all the way there. Okay. And go ahead, James. Let's put that back in the beakers that they were. And now, Justin, could you take our our stuff that's there on the hot water bath, pick it up, and compare it to the room temperature one? You're going to have to pick that up. And you can turn around and face me so that we can see those. And you kind of have a, oh, not that white. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a little better. Now let's get it back in front of the white of the room. There you go. And there it's very, very obvious what the color difference is. And that changed right before your eyes. Good demonstration, huh? Okay.